Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania goes full grizzly wife on reporter after attacks on Trump slash Kavanaugh. Let's it all out. As the most reliable and balanced news aggregation service in the world, RWN offers the following information published by the Daily Wire. First Lady Melania Trump has done her first solo interview in more than a year, sitting down with ABC News chief national affairs correspondent Tom Lamas. The interview, which is titled Being Melania and will air this Friday at 10 p.m. EDT, was conducted when the First Lady was traveling in Africa last week. In a promo aired Tuesday on ABC, Lamas is seen telling Melania you did agree to this interview, to your credit, with no preconditions. Correct, she says with a smile. Knowing that there could be some tough questions asked, Lama says as Melania nods. The ABC teaser never shows her answering, but does show Lama's asking a few more questions, including. Can women in the hashtag MeToo movement call you a supporter? You're not the first first lady to have to deal with your husband's alleged infidelities, has this put a strain on your marriage? Let's talk about the jacket. Why did you wear it? What's the biggest misconception about you? The short clip also includes the text no question off limits. Daily Mail has more on this big interview with the First Lady. ABC News has managed to land an interview with First Lady Melania Trump. Being Melania, the First Lady will air this Friday at 10 p.m. on ABC, and no question was off the table. You did agree to this interview, to your credit, with no preconditions, states Chief National Affairs Correspondent Tom Lamas. Knowing that there could be some tough questions asked. From there, the First Lady is asked about the state of her marriage, her husband's infidelity and her views on the hashtag MeToo movement. Can women in the hashtag MeToo movement call you a supporter? Asks Lamas in a preview obtained by DailyMail.com. You are not the first First Lady to have to deal with your husband's infidelities, has this put a strain on your marriage? He later asks the First Lady. The preview ends with him asking about the jacket which the First Lady wore soon after her husband's Justice Department enacted an order which allowed parents and their children to be separated at the border. On a visit to one of the facilities housing those children, the First Lady wore a Zara jackets which read, I really don't care do you? People, it turned out, did in fact care. And lastly, Lamas asks the third Mrs. Trump what the biggest misconception is about her. The First Lady sat down with Lamas while the two were in Africa on her first solo foreign trip. It has been over a year since Melania gave an interview with a major network, and almost all of her appearances on television have been by her husband's side. Last June, the First Lady spoke with Fox and Friends host Ainsley Earhart in a segment that was filmed days before during the annual congressional picnic, revealing that she could not be happier just two weeks after moving into the White House with son Barron. We are enjoying it very much, Melania said of her time thus far at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. When asked how her then 11-year-old son was handling the move, Melania said, He loves it, yes all settled. He loves it here. I'm so busy and we're doing so many great stuff. So it's really special place and I love it here, said Melania, who was born in Slovenia. She became a permanent resident of the United States back in 2001, and five years later she was able to obtain her citizenship after marrying President Trump. Melania, who is only the second first lady to have been born outside the country, also spoke a bit about putting together her first congressional picnic. Tonight, it's a great picnic, congressional, picnic with all of us getting together, said Melania. It's New York City team. And we have carousel and great stuff outside. That interview with Fox and Friends was far briefer and toned down than her chat with ABC, and was filmed in the largely nondescript map room of the White House. It was also more Melania making a cameo in the interview with a majority of the time being taken up by President Trump as he talked about health care, James Comey and what he believes are his biggest accomplishments since taking office. The First Lady, who was asked just four questions during the 20-minute interview, smiled and nodded along approvingly as her husband spoke. But there will be no Donald on Friday, just Melania. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.